credit cards, statement balance versus current balance. Your statement balance is what you owed on a credit card account as of a specific point in time. That specific point in time was when your financial institution last sent you a bill. Before your first statement, your current balance would be the sum of your charges minus any payments. After your first statement, your current balance is your last statement balance plus new charges minus any payments. Hmm. Okay, I, I guess, but how about some examples? Funny you should ask. In the table to the left, I tried to include just enough entries to allow me to explain the concepts of statement balance and current balance. We'll be working with this table for much of the rest of this presentation and perhaps some other presentations as well. So let's take a little time to become familiar with it. Notice that the account was first opened on January 15th. There's nothing special about my having chosen the date January 15th. I just wanted to demonstrate that for your credit cards, it is unlikely that your statement open and statement close dates will always line up on calendar months. I'll explain the concepts of statement open and statement close dates in a later video. What are calendar months? To the left are calendar months, January through December. When anyone refers to a month, make certain to understand whether the speaker means an interval of roughly 30 days or one of the 12 calendar months. On January 17th, 2023, what was the account's current balance? By January 17th, 2023, the account had been open, but there had been no fees or charges to the account. That means that on January 17th, the current balance was zero. On January 25th, 2023, what was the account's current balance? By January 25th, the only charge was for $172.54. So $172.54 was the current balance. On February 5th, 2023, what was the account's current balance? By February 5th, there were two charges. The January 21st charge for $172.54 and the February 3rd charge for $64.34 for a total of $236.88. The current balance on February 5th was $236.88. On February 16th, 2023, what was the account's current balance and what was the account's statement balance? By February 16th, there were still only the two transactions that we went over on the previous slide. The January 21st charge for $172.54 and the February 3rd charge for $64.34 for a total of $236.88. It will not always be the case, but in this particular case, the current balance and the statement balance were both $236.88. The previous questions were intended to provide an easy introduction to this material. The next exercise might be trickier. Some of you may or may not doubt my answers. If so, I am absolutely in no way offended by that. Feel free to Enter a question in the comments section or escalate to Google if you feel my explanation is either faulty or insufficient. On February 25th, 2023, what was the account's statement balance and what was the account's current balance? So here again, as we've seen in the previous slides, we have the January 21st charge for $172.54 and the February 3rd charge for $64.34 for a total of $236.88 for the statement balance. And on February 20th, we add $36.45 to that to get a current balance of $273.33.
on February 25th, the statement balance is still $236.88. The current balance is $273.33. In this presentation, I introduced the concepts of statement balance and current balance. As you expand your knowledge, you will likely come across nuances that I left out of this presentation in the interest of brevity. For example, this presentation glossed over that a charge will have a transaction date and a post date. There may or may not be a meaningful difference between the two dates. In this video, I presented a plausible set of information. It is the responsibility of each viewer to take the theory presented here and understand how it maps to his or her own real life accounts. This presentation was adapted from my website, therationalconsumer.com. That's a long URL to type, especially on mobile devices. So I've created the URL http colon slash slash trc.credit that will redirect to the main site, trc.credit, not trc.com, not trc.net, not trc.org, not trc.horse. Uh, actually, http colon slash slash trc.horse and many browsers address boxes will get you to my site. If you're on your work network or VPN, it might not like using the trc.credit redirect. In that case, either type the full therationalconsumer.com or use a non-work device. Understanding the concepts of current balance and statement balance are important parts of learning how to use credit cards. Hopefully people will use this information that I've provided, but I may be running a long con on myself if I think I can actually make any difference.